Well, this is not a flat vineyard by any stretch of the imagination. Can you tell us a little bit about who you are and, and about this place? Of course, I'm Linda and uh, I am the owner of Paulai Vineyard. Uh, we own this uh, piece of land with my husband and uh, he's the winemaker at our uh, family business. And yes, it is a steep uh, vineyard indeed. How big is the vineyard? It's quite small. That's right. Uh, we've got one and a half hectares altogether. So here we have a half hectare only and the grape varieties are quite varied here. Mostly uh, we have the Furmin grape and, and some of the Haslevelu stocks. But uh, at this point where we are standing just right now, we've got a small collection of the, of the old varieties which were grown before the Phylloxera disease. We are quite proud of that part of our activity anyway. Saving a bit of history. Exactly. That is uh, one of our aim, just to, just to save the bits and pieces and of the Hungarian roots, traditions. And I understand you have a cellar in a very special place. It's actually kind of right under our feet. Exactly. Uh, I would love to show you that place anyway, because the ambience, the atmosphere is quite cool. So we've gone from up there, right underneath our feet down here into this, this cellar. This material above our heads is not actually that typical for Tokai, is it? It's not as rocky as we normally find. This is Lus, which is a very fertile soil. So we are very happy to have the roots of our wines down in them. And something else that is typical down here is the mold that covers everything. I know it probably doesn't look appetizing, but it's very important to what you're doing down here to age the wines. It is important in a cellar to be because uh, it controls the temperature of the cellar and, and also it is important to have for the humidity. So it's like a, a, a thick black carpet all around. It's beautiful. So we've talked about the grapes above our heads and that's gonna make me thirsty. So is it possible for us to taste some of this wine? Let's go. We've gone from vineyard to cellar to historic house. You know, you have a pretty nice life. So let's talk about the wines you have uh, for us to taste. The first wine would be uh, from 2013, and this is a dry food mint wine, which was uh, fermented in a stainless steel container. This is a fruity, fresh wine that we love so much. Great, let's give it a try. There's a great description of this wine. It is very fruity. In fact, there's a lot of tropical fruits coming out maybe even some dried fruits in the mouth. And it's very fresh. It's, it's like a nice introduction to ferment because you're getting the citrus fruit, you're getting the tropical fruit, you're getting the, the, the minerality that comes out, like the wet stone, and it's just a very friendly and easy to like wine. Let's try the second. Our second wine is a single vineyard selection from Verdash Vineyard, vintage is 2012. Uh, we ferment this wine in oak barrel and uh, aged for seven months. And this wine is from the vineyard that we visited today on the terrace. Yes, yeah. exactly. Great, let's try it. This wine certainly has a bit more depth than the first one. And more concentration as well, so you're getting a bit more intense flavors of the ferment. Uh, particularly the tropical fruits, which have a bit more complexity in this wine. And the minerality, instead of coming out maybe on the nose, comes a bit more out on the palate. Gives a nice sensation, almost like a mineral water quality that refreshes as it goes down. So thank you so much for, for sharing the wines and, and taking me under the ground. I really, <laughs> really enjoyed that. So, uh, Cheers.